Two angels, harsh and reprimanding, will then come to him. They will reprimand him and will sit him up and ask, Who is your Lord? The believer will reply, My Lord is Allah. They will further ask, What is your religion? To which he will reply, My religion is Islam. The two angels will then ask, Who was that man who was sent to you? He will reply, he is the messenger of Allah. They will finally ask him, and what did you do? The person will say, I read the book of Allah, I believed in it, and I considered it to be true. And that is the last trial the believer will experience. As you see, after 1400 years, Muslims till today, like this Sajid Lipham here, are terrified of the punishment of the grave. As we know, both the Jews of Medina and the pagan Meccans rejected Muhammad and they used to accuse him of stealing legend stories and fables and implemented them in his new made religion and Quran. You are telling us nothing new, ya Muhammad. We already know these stories. And if you go to the Quran, for example, chapter 37, ayah 36, we can read and we're saying, are we to leave our gods for a mad poet like you, O Muhammad? And another ayah, chapter 25, ayah 5 of the Quran, we can read. And they say, tales of the ancients, which he, Muhammad, has caused to be written. And they are dictated before him, morning and evening. So the Meccans and the Jews, they already knew these legends. They knew about these fables and they used to tell them to their children. If you are uh, not going to bed, uh, something bad will happen to you, oh child. So listen carefully, go to bed. That is an example. So you see, the Jews knew that Muhammad was always plagiarizing their legends and fairy tales and called it divine revelation from Allah. For example, the flying carpet of Solomon. Muhammad was called a madman, a demon-possessed man, and the ear not for nothing. The Jews knew that whatever Muhammad hears, he will adopt into Islam. So they set a trap for him. There were two smart Jewish women who went to see Aisha. And they told her about this well-known Jewish legend story, the punishment of the grave. If we go to Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 63, 66, we can read the following hadith. Narrated Aisha, two old ladies from among the Jewish ladies entered upon me and said, the dead are punished in their graves. But I thought they were telling a lie. So as you see, Aisha immediately understood. There's something wrong here. They are telling me a lie. And if you continue reading, it says, And did not believe them. So Aisha did not believe them in the beginning. When they went away and the Prophet entered upon me, Aisha says, I said, O Allah's messenger, two old ladies, and she told them the whole story. He, Muhammad said, after hearing it, Muhammad the ear, he said, they told the truth. The dead are really punished in their graves to the extent that all the animals hear the sound resulting from their punishment. Since then, Aisha continues, says, I always saw him, Muhammad, seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave in his prayers. So you see, Aisha was not stupid. She immediately understand there's something wrong. Uh, this cannot be true. This is a lie from the Jews who are always setting a trap for me and my husband, Muhammad. But you know, Muhammad hears it and he makes it Islam. He makes it an important doctrine in Islam. So Muslims, don't you see something weird here? Muhammad never told this story about the punishment of the grave. Not to his wife Aisha and not to the Sahaba. It was a new thing for Muhammad to hear for the very first time. Simply because he was called the ear. He used to plagiarize from here and there. Whenever he hears a story. Do you see the disaster here? The Jews were so smart. They knew whatever we are going to tell Muhammad, he is going to adopt it into Islam. And this is one of the examples why Muhammad is a fraud, a plagiarizer, a stealer of well-known stories, legends, and fables. Muslims, you need to wake up. 
Don't be scared of the punishment of the grave. It's a story for children. Please wake up, drop Muhammad and leave Islam. And I invite you to join us in Christianity. Please leave Islam and become a Christian. This is your soul. It's your funeral. Please download our videos, share it on social media, and thanks for watching. <laughs>